Uh, ben Bolch, Los Angeles Times. Uh, this is really for both of you, but I'll start with Jaime, um, since you've been here a little bit longer. Um, you guys have had so much success late in the year, all three years you've been here. First year, we won nine out of 11, one of the hottest teams in the country. Last year, obviously, with the Final Four. And then this year, you won eight out of 10 while playing at a really high level. Has there been any common thread about uh, what has helped this team late in each of those seasons uh, that you can kind of pinpoint? That's a great question, Ben. Um, I think just going forward uh, or going throughout the season, you know, we start to figure things out, figure out what we need to do. Um, it's a whole learning experience throughout the entire season. So, you know, as you go on, you get better and learn from things that, you, that you've made mistakes on in the past. And I think that's just been a sort of trend that's been the past, past three years that I've been here is just, you know, learning from our mistakes and just getting better throughout the year. Um, yeah, I think it's just, uh, you know, coach developing us through the year and continually improving. Um, and then by the end of the season, you know, last two years I've been here, uh, we've, we've been sharper um, down the stretch. Jeff Longville, WZIP Akron. This is for both of you guys as well. When you guys look at the Akron Zips, what do you think is the biggest concern for you guys? Um, you know, we've been watching a lot of film as of late, um, getting prepared for this game, uh, just trying to do everything we can to learn about this team and, you know, how they play. Uh, and, you know, they, they got a lot of great players on their team. Um, you know, they, they came off a little win streak coming, I think, into the tournament. And, um, you know, we just got to stay solid and play our game, uh, not get out of control. Uh, you know, we got to pressure them, you know, make them uncomfortable. Just kind of like the same game plan for any other team that we play. You know, uh, just be the enforcer. Yeah, no, they're a talented team. They're well coached. Um, you know, they're hot. They're playing well, playing with a lot of energy. And um, on this stage, on this stage, um, you know, it's always going to be a battle. So. Um, you know, just being prepared, being ready. Jason. Jason Quick, The Athletic. This is for both of you. Off the court, away from the games and stuff, was there ever a moment that kind of you look back on and that was a turning point within the team, something you guys went through or experienced uh, that helped you guys as a team? I think just a lot of our guys got healthy. Uh, I know Johnny had an injury. I've had many throughout this season. Jalen Clark's had some injuries. Uh, I think just, you know, going back, we, I don't think we had a game this year, um, you know, early in the season where everyone was 100%. And, you know, God bless that we're all healthy now. And I think that's really been able to help us going forward, being able to play as one cohesive unit and, you know, try to go forward and win as many games as possible. Uh, ben Bolch, Los Angeles Times. Um, I was talking to Coach Savino this morning, and he was talking about how Coach Cronin's helped keep you guys fresh mentally and physically late in the season, and you know maybe cut back on some practices up between games and stuff like that. Uh, in what ways has he helped each of you kind of stay physically and mentally fresh this time of year when the games are their most important? Shoot, that might be a better question for him. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I mean, look, we always um, are held accountable and uh, stay sharp and held to high standards, which is huge. And that's what you want as a player when it comes to growth and progression and development. Um, and, you know, you got to improve as a unit, but also as individual players, everybody improves too. That's just going to. Uh, lift up the unit, so um, you know I think that's a big part of it. Yeah, and then yeah, I guess on my side, uh, going through dealing with some injuries on my end, um, really just taking my time in practice. Uh, you know, kind of you know taking some reps off, being on the bike, uh, getting in early. You know, doing getting in the ice bath, hot, hot tub, everything I can to just try to better improve myself and my health. Uh, Tar Tarek Vettel here from the Daily News. Um, Jaime, for you, obviously the, the locker room's pretty much the same, right? But there's got to be a different feel. Obviously the opponent's different. Can you maybe pinpoint a couple different feelings coming into tomorrow's game? 
Um, I think we're all excited that there's going to be fans here. First of all, uh, it's you know we're in a way better environment, or I should say, way different environment. Uh, we're here in the city, of Portland. Uh, we're not all in one condensed place in this hotel. I think we're all. It's a little more excited now. You know, uh, this is really what March Madness is all about. We're not confined to just the hotel and the gym. You know, we can go out, see people do things like this, and we're all just really excited to showcase what we what we've been working for this whole year. Uh, Jeff Rabjohns from Pigs.com. This is for both of you guys. I'm working on a story on Michael Lewis. You know, he was a great player at Indiana. Now he's, you know, assistant coach for you guys. Give me a player's view, if you would. When you look at Michael Lewis, you see what? Yeah, uh, man, Coach Lewis is a great. Can we work on the? Go ahead. Okay. Uh, coach Lewis is a, a great coach. Really sharp. Uh, brings a lot of energy, enthusiasm, passion. And then off the court, you know, he's a fun guy to talk to, mess around with, joke with. Um, so he's just a great energy, you know. I, I would say we're, we're excited to see him, and um, he definitely teaches a lot and uh, so impactful. So we're lucky to, to have him and get to play for him. Um, but definitely uh, very energetic, very passionate, uh, super sharp, yeah. And then, yeah, uh, to go along with everything Johnny said, which is very spot on, uh, coach Lewis, great coach, uh, always brings out the best in us. Um, you know, very energetic, always getting into practice early, you know, talking to every single one of us. He's got a good personal relationship with everyone on the team, and sometimes you don't always get that from coaches. You know, he's got a great relationship with myself, with Johnny, and, you know, from top to bottom, great relationship with everyone. You know, he's a guards coach, but he still works with the bigs on their free throws, so he's just very versatile. He knows what he's doing, and, you know, we're, we're very thankful to have him as a coach here. Can you both uh, reflect on how your mindset is different this year going into the tournament based off last year's experience, like how, how you can pull off of that? Yeah. Um, this year, we're definitely in a little bit, oh, we are in a different position. Um, coming as 11 seed last year, 4 seed this year, the, uh, you know, roles are switched a little bit, but staying with this, the same um, mindset that helped us a lot last year. Um, and, you know, just going, coming to battle and you can't worry about, you know, in the early games getting, you're playing, uh, for, you know, lower seated teams. You can't worry about, oh, are we going to lose this game? You know, you just have to go out there and play with passion and fire, uh, just like when you're trying to upset a team. So um, coming from the same mind frame uh, is big and playing with the same fire. I'm not worried about anything else, but just competing. Marla Ryden, our Akron Beacon Journal. I just wonder if anything stood out to you about Enrique Freeman. He's leading the nation in field goal percentage. Zips. Got yeah, I mean, uh, leading the nation in field goal percentage, obviously that's a big, uh, that's a big accomplishment. Kudos to him. And, you know, going in, we, we have our scouting report, we have our game plan, and, you know, we got to do a lot of things to try to stop them. But, you know, like, I, like we said before, Akron, they got a lot of great players. They're very talented. And, you know, we're going to do everything we can to try to stop them. Jim Coy, Indiana Sports Beat. Johnny, you talked about earl earlier, you talked about uh, this year getting to enjoy the trappings of the NCAA tournament. You guys came out of the uh, first four in last year. If you had had to travel, would that have made it that – Task that more much much more difficult, uh, being in the same place that that help you guys accomplish that. Um, I mean, I wouldn't point it to the travel or anything like that. I I think that you know it was just a combination of having such great game plans and scouting reports, you know, from the coaches and the players, just everybody just competing in the cohesiveness um, and, and, and so much energy. Um, you know, I, I feel like a flight that still would have been there and carried over. But I did think about that. I mean, that's tough. I thought about that from some of the first four teams. Like, man, they're playing on Tuesday. They got to travel across the country for a game Thursday. I mean, it does seem tough, yeah. Let's go to the uh, Zoom room real quick. Is there any reporters that are on Zoom that would like to ask a question, please raise your hand. I don't see anyone raising their hand, so we'll uh, come back to the uh, main media area and right there. Uh, one of the things that struck me watching you guys last year in the tournament was, 
you know, there's some games where you'll have a handful of guys locked in, but it seemed like pretty much literally everybody on the team was locked in, valuing every possession on offense, adhering to your defensive principles, and it just it was kind of mind blowing that everybody on the team was doing this all game long. How did you guys find that focus and how do you recapture that starting tomorrow? Uh, I think it was just a group understanding of what was at stake. We lose, we go home, and that's the same thing going into our game tomorrow. Um, we lose, we go home, and I think everyone understands that. And when, when your back's against the wall and you got guys like these, you, you know, we're going to fight back and do everything we can to uh, try to pull out with a W. And you know, I think that's what happened last year, and that's what's going to have to happen again this year. Jake Murren, WZIP Akron. Question for Johnny. This season has had lots of highs for the Bruins, particularly beating a number one seed in the regular season in Arizona. Coming down the stretch, how do you replicate the regular season success coming into the tournament? Um, yeah, I think, honestly, we try to replicate it and um, even take it to another level. So, um, you know, you come in with a similar focus, that game you're referring to, right? A lot of energy, um, a lot of fire um, defensively, bringing heat, um, just mental focus, um, and then also just a lot of presence playing the game. Everybody was there in the moment, and you know it's one goal, and we're, we're trying to win the game. So I think we, you know, you bring all those things to these games and even more um, because you know this is what you play for. March is what matters. Um, I know everybody; we all know that. So we're all excited and. We're trying to take it to a new level.